What up folks, it's Alex here, and I'm back today with a real quick tip video. Now you see this microphone here, sort of in the way, isn't it? Obviously I need it here because it's recording my voice, but realistically, I don't want it in the frame. So let's get rid of it. Bing, and it's gone. Now I can't really take credit for this idea. The guys over at Drone Film Guide made a really, really great video where they showed you this technique I just wanted to make a quick two minute video to show you how to do the exact same thing in DaVinci Resolve. Now before we continue, open the description and click on the link to their video. It's a much longer video and they cover a hell of a lot more of the pros and cons and how to do this well. So go give that a click. Watch that video before you watch this one because I'm not going to talk about any of the real details, I'm just going to show you the nitty gritty of how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. So click that video right now. Boop, boop, boop. Oh wait, it's fine. Do do do. Right, you done? You watched it? Brilliant. Cool. Let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> okay. So here we are folks, we're on the edit tab and I've already set up my timeline as you can see. Now I've got two videos on the timeline. This big one here, this is my main one, which is just me talking with the microphone in shot. And then this one here, is just a small clip of when I moved myself and the microphone out the way. Now the very first thing you need to do is you need to move the main clip, so this one here needs to be on video 2, it needs to be above the other one because we're going to basically cut this out and we're going to show what's underneath which is going to be this clip here. Now the next thing, I only left this running for a few seconds but we probably want more than that so I'm just going to find a frame, that will do where it looks exactly as I want it to, like so. I'm going to right click, I'm going to change clip speed, and I'm going to click freeze frame, and then change. And what it will do is it will split that and it will give me here a freeze frame of that specific moment. And I can make that as long as I like, because it's basically just a still image, there's no video at all. I can then delete the original. And the next thing you want to do is find the exact point where you want the microphone to disappear. So it may be that you want it from the very beginning, in which case you just plunk it there. Or in my case, I want it exactly from the, that click there. So I'm just going to plunk that there and extend it to the end. And I'm also just going to put a quick cut there. Now if you want to be smart, you can do that with keyframes, but I'm just going to do this the nice, simple way, like so. Now I'm going to select the second half of this clip here. So this is the one where I want to mask the microphone out. So I'm going to have that highlighted on my timeline. Then I'm going to click on the color tab and it will be selected in here. So it's this one that we need to work on. Now the first thing we need to do is come over here where your nodes are. Now if you don't see this area here with your nodes, all you need to do is click on nodes up here in the top right hand corner to enable or disable the nodes panel. We're going to right click on an empty space and we're going to add an alpha output, which will add a little blue dot down here. And then I'm simply going to click and hold my mouse on this blue square and drag it down to the blue little circle. Done. First step done. And then down here, we're just going to click on your window icon here, which is this one. We're going to grab the pen. And all we're going to do is just draw around that microphone. You can be as exact or as blunt as you want. You do want to keep it relatively accurate on this side so you don't sort of go behind the mask. And then just join that up to finish. And you see straight away what it's done, it's done the opposite to what we want. It's removed me and it's kept the microphone. Now if we just go down here and you've got this box here, we'll invert the selection. So give that a click. Ta-da! And there you go. That's it. There's some other settings down here. You can mess with softness and opacity and all that until your heart's content. But generally, that'll work. That'll do the job. And as we see, if we just hit play, up until the point here, and there you go, it's gone. Job done. Easy peasy. And that's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to pop a comment below if you've got any feedback. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.